be a coordinated attack. This image is live in Rome, looking toward the Vatican, and is as close as our cameras can get. It is believed that the Pope was in residence at the time of the blast. Also live, we're looking at Jerusalem from just outside the city. Also live, the holy city of Mecca, from the USS Ronald Reagan in the Red Sea off the coast of Saudi Arabia. Radiation has been detected, indicating that nuclear weapons were used in these unspeakable attacks. Ethan, No word on casualties yet, but we can assume the death toll is catastrophic. Early reports suggest the weapons used would require highly specialized knowledge that very few people possess. The question now is who would attack all three of these holy sites and why? The attacks occurred at precisely the same moment just over an hour ago at 4 a.m. Eastern time. Within minutes of the attack, Congress ordered an emergency recess and the Capitol building was evacuated. The president of the United the White House has declared a state of emergency placing the military on highest alert. Would you excuse us, please? Dr. Delbrook. We know who you are. We read the manifesto, we found your lab. There's never been peace without first the great suffering. The greater the suffering, the greater the peace. See, this will unite them. Hmm? When they read this manifesto, they'll understand. Nobody's going to read that manifesto, ever. I can promise you that. What day is it? How long have I been here? What's the last thing you remember? I, I, I was driving. Someone hit me. That was two weeks ago. Two weeks? Two weeks. This is yours, isn't it? It's how law communicated with you. Lark. John Lark. We know all about him. You know nothing. There's information in this phone that could lead us to him. And you have the passcode. You think Lark is the enemy, hmm? You. Well, whoever you are, you are the enemy. You're why the system survives. Why the suffering goes on. Shut up. We don't care about you. We want Lark. What if we make a deal? No, there's no deal, Luther. Step outside. Ethan, give me five minutes with this guy. Ethan, I can't let you do that. That's not who we are. Well, maybe we need to reconsider that. What if they read the manifesto on the air? What, you can do that? We can do it with a phone call. Well, if he reads Lark's manifesto... No. I'll give you the passcode. Ethan! Ethan! Think, Ethan. Think of the greater good, please. Yeah, you do that. No, he won't cooperate. Yes, sir. If we read the manifesto on the air. I'm sorry, sir. Trading and global markets plummeted. Stand by. I'm told we're about to get some additional information. I've just been handed a document from Mills Del Brook, a nuclear weapons specialist who claims to have built the weapons used in these attacks. I've been asked to read this manifesto in its entirety. There has never been peace without first a great suffering. The greater the suffering, the greater the peace. As mankind is drawn to a self-destruction like a moth to the candle, the so-called defenders of peace, the church, the government, the law, work tirelessly to save humanity from itself. Well, it's not gonna help you now. But by averting disaster, they serve to delay a peace. What's done is done. That can only come through an inevitable baptism of fire. The suffering I bring you is not the beginning of the end. It is the beginning of a greater mutual understanding. To begin. Your common suffering. It is the first step for the ultimate brother of a man. We got it. The suffering I bring you is the first <laughs>
Did we get it? Of course we got it. I told you we'd get it. I, I don't understand. The attacks didn't happen. The car accident you in, that was an hour ago. I was driving the other car. What's done is done, and what we say it's done. <laughs>